Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today we've got an unbagging and unboxing uh, from Amazon. Um, I think I know what it is, but we'll get into it and have a look and see. Um, otherwise, if it's something that's not mine and it's hubby's, I'll have to just scrap my video. <laughs> so let's get into this uh, bag and have a look. Okay, so it's a box. It's in the bag. Wow. Well, that doesn't want to come out. Okay, now then, this one says uh, Macting on it, which we've had quite a few things from the Macting store. But if it's, it does seem to be what I thought it was. Um, yeah, it's diamond painting um, accessories and it's sold by Ho Ho Time. H-O-H-O, -H -O, so Christmas, ho, ho, ho. But this is just a H-O. So let's just open that and get in and have a look and see what we've got. I've been buying more tools again, people. Oh, look at this, look at this. Wow, it's a little box. So it's a box in a box. Okay, and this one is a nice little pink box. Let's just quickly measure it. It seems nice and compact and it looks like it's full of goodies. So we'll go, so we're about 20 cent. Well, if I go that way, let's do it that way. Look, look at the widest parts 20 centimeters, which is eight inches that way. The depth of it is about 11 centimeters, four and a half inches, and the width is about 11 centimetres four and a half inches so it's as wide as it is tall and just a little bit longer okay so we've got a little clip on the front there just to open that just pulls up and opens and let's see what we've got inside Ooh. now i've been using the vipon coupons again people you'll be sick of hearing me say that won't you um, we've got stickers, uh, two lots of 50. So this one uh, is normally on Amazon at £10.99, which for that price, I think it's fab. Uh, and I got it for £4.40, <laughs> which is even better. But yeah, a nice little box to put everything in. So we've got a big chunk of wax, which to be honest, that looks like it might be the opaque wax. Uh, it's okay but it's not the best but it, for what I've paid that's brilliant and um, we've got some Ziploc bags there possibly about 20 30 and then some smaller ones so we've got two sizes again possibly 20 30 ish okay so they look nice ones uh, we've got two of these little light up pens these are great I've actually used these before. I got some last year um, and they're just so much fun. And they've got the bent multi places on them. Look, if you can make out the curve. Yeah, you can. They're just curved slightly, but they light up. So as you're diamond painting, you can see your numbers. And they're great if you've not got your light box on or you've maybe missed a drill or something. Um, and you can just actually use it as a torch to have a look a bit better. But you can take these out as well. And they are just a standard fitting. So you can put your single places or any of your multi places or your straighteners or whatever. I suppose you could even put your um, steel tips in those as well if you wanted to. The only thing I found is that the ends do tend to come off eventually as you're using them. And my face rubbed off mine. But these are little owls. I've not got owl ones. I think they're really cute. So, yeah, so we've got two of those. Uh, this has a little tray look. So you can put little bits. I'm not quite sure what would fit in there. I wouldn't, I suppose you could put an odd drill that you've maybe dropped or something. Uh, this is good size for pens. I think we'll fit the pens. In. Well, you can fit pens in there because they were in there. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're quite small. Maybe multi places. Um, yeah, put your wax in there. Okay. We've got one of uh, my favourites, which is a large white boat with a spout. They're always handy to have. Okay. And then we've got a little 
Mosfer blood with a spout. And then oops, we've got some spoons, which I think they possibly use these if you've got pots and you can scoop your diamonds up, possibly. I don't know, I've never, well, I have used an odd spoon. Um, I've got some containers that are quite big and they're all linked together and they're not quite as easy to tip out. So I have used spoons with those. But anyway, you got you could always have an ice cream while you're in between your diamond painting. Now, okay, we've got some of the um, cheaper metal tweezers there, which can or can't be used for whatever. Um, so I tend not to use those, but you know they're okay. They do the job. This would be fantastic um, as a little stocking filler for somebody. And then we've got some little containers that are numbered 1, 2, 6, 7 to 12. So 1 to 12 there. Two lots of those. This would be nice for somebody just starting out or like my little granddaughter at the moment um, is doing a lot of stickers and things like that. So she could put her drills in these because she don't get too many. If you're doing like specials or something, you've got 24 basically there um, and she could use those. Or you could use them if you're into beading or sewing or anything like that. Um, don't let her be anywhere near them though, because they'll probably pinch them for screws or something. And you'll never see them again. Okay. We've got two of the plastic tweezers. Which, again, I've never found that they're strong enough for me. I think I must be quite heavy-handed. But, uh, yeah, Okay. We've got lots of pens in here. Goodness me, how many pens have we got? Oh, we've got three lots of tweezers, look. There's another set there. So three lots of tweezers, two of those. One of those. I like the owls best so far. Um, we've got your single places with your three drill uh, multi-places on the end there. Okay. And what else have we got? We've got oh a double straightener. And this one has got like a, a pen grip on it. These are like the thinner pen grips on all of these. Um, they're okay, but I do prefer the softer ones, if I'm honest. But I mean, if, if you're using these and it's hot weather, it will stop your fingers from slipping if your hands get hot and a little bit sticky. So, you know, they are useful. Um, and then these are all single places on one end and then we've got one, two, are they four places? And they all they all look the same size. Is that a different size one? Yeah, that's strange. We've got let's have a look then. Where's my little thing? So these three are all the same size and are these Right, they're a six placer, so we've got three six placers. So are these nines then? I should think these will be nines. Yeah, so, and then we've got four nine placers. Okay, so we've got three three placers, three six placers, three nine placers, and these are the curved ones, again, like the owl. Um, it's a three and a six that's curved at the end there. Okay, you can just about see that you've got your curves. Okay, and then we've got uh, six lots of clips. Now these are good if you're doing a larger diamond painting, um, you can put your diamond painting in there and it will hold it if you're rolling it, say, around um, a foam roller or a pool noodle or... Um, an insulation thing or just to hold it onto your light pad so six of those they always come in handy and then goodness me we have one two three four five six green boats heck so you are well and truly set up with this kit on everything you need to diamond paint for the money i think it's great and uh, for just starting out or stocking up on your supplies or if you're wanting to uh, diamond paint with friends this is excellent everybody can have a pen everybody can have a go all right well uh, i'll get this put away so <laughs> while i do that uh, thanks for watching and uh, if you've enjoyed seeing this you press that like button 
um, just lets me know I'm on the right track. And if you press subscribe and the bell next to it, you'll be notified when the next video comes up. Who knows, I might be using some of these things in the next one. Okay, thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.